Okay, this example. Okay, uh, the purchase cost for carbon steel. Heat exchanger operating an ambient pressure is this one. So the purchase cost, the purchase cost at ambient pressure, which is one bar, and carbon steel is this. So this is your CP0. It's already given to you. The purchase cost of the equipment, heat exchanger, uh, which is made of carbon steel and at one bar. This is your CP0. The following cost information is given to you. So, let's say if we consider that my equipment cost $100 or real, whatever. So, 71% is for material, 63 is for labor, 8 is for freight, 63.4, okay, I mean, uh, let, let me say it in another way. If, let's, if we consider that the equipment cost is 100, okay, we have this additional, additional expenses to pay to bring that equipment home and in a starting and make it work. Okay, let me be very, I mean like, be very careful about how, how we use this number. It's very important. So, what is this factor means? If my equipment is 100 real, the price of purchase price of that equipment is 100 real from the company that made it. Let's say there is a company in industrial area in Qatar that are making that heat exchanger and we buy from them, we buy the equipment from them for 100 real. Just imagine like that. Now we have to put the transport the heat exchanger, bring it to the another side, let's say in um, Qatar gas site when, wherever the plant is we want to install it so we have to pay for the freight for the labor uh, there, are, there might be some overhead expenses engineering expenses to inspect to make sure the installation is correct and uh, to run it right so those are the additional the expense that we have so for that equipment 100 real the material cost of that equipment is 71.4 labor that is needed is 63 Freight is 8, 8 real or percent. Overhead expenses 63.4 and engineering 23.3. The, the sum of this shouldn't be necessarily 100, right? It's because just additional information, uh, additional expenses that we have to bring that heat exchanger home and install it. So, using the information given above, determine the equipment cost multiplier given in table 5 and the following. So, you are asked to find CB, C, you, you need to find F, FBM0 and CBM0, all right? So, how we do this? For, by using table 58, this table. So, for F0, FMB0, okay, we have this equation. The only thing that we need to do, we have to go find this factors. Once we have this, we can easily find this one. CBM0. So, this cost, this is the cost of the heat exchanger itself. Only the heat exchanger. So, what we will use, we find this factor and we will calculate CBM0 by using this equation. CP0 times FBM0. Zero. So the cost of equipment itself ties, times uh, the, the bare module that co that consider the installation, labor, overhead, freight, engineering costs all together that will give us the total cost module of that is exchanger or the total cost that we have for that is exchanger from a from beginning to end from the from um, the fabrication until installation and running it. So this is, I mean, like, wh what's the definition of this parameter here? It's actually bare modulus that we have it here in this equation. 
Okay. When when this is zero, this is also zero. Zero means for base condition, atmospheric pressure and carbon steel is not complicated. Okay, now now bare modules. Okay, let's start finding this uh, this one from this equation, thirty to thirty six. Okay, we have to create such a table. We have to find all the multiplier. For the equipment, as I said, for equipment, purchase equipment, we have CP and the, the, the factor, uh, the, uh, sorry, the alpha P, alpha P for the purchase equipment is always one. Material, we had how much? Material was this. We have alpha, the, the factor, the is alpha m for labor is alpha l for freight is alpha fit for overhead is alpha o for for uh, for engineering is alpha e so very simple first one the material okay let me go back how we can find material is actually the amount of the, the 71.4 divided by 100 that gives you this value okay how we find it here now what you have you have CP okay let's say you consider this to be 100 and CM is also given to you 71.4 is something like that okay 71.4 so CP is 100 given to you CM is also given you divide this by this you will find your alpha M for the second one the labor okay so alpha alpha labor is C of labor divided by CP0 plus CM okay so or we can do it in other way we can use we can use this factor okay we can how we use this let's say I mean we can use this factor and find it by using this factor how we can do it we can uh, just uh, we can just divide uh, 63 okay 63 which was for the labor divided by 1 plus cm okay one plus cm so let me let me make it clear here so we need to find alpha l how we find it uh, cp0 is given to us 100 mm -hmm. cl is also given 63 100 plus cm which is 71.4 okay we will find it from this way or if I divide everything by one here by 100 here by 100 I will have 0 0.63 this divided by 100 and this divided by 100 71.4 this is your alpha L okay that is written here you see how we calculate alpha L 0 0.63 1 plus 0.714 that gives us this value freight let's go look at freight for okay I'm gonna clean this here so for freight where is it freight is located here okay so you have this equation so the C is given for freight which is 8 again alpha F I T F I T is C F I T divided by C P 0 plus C M okay so plus C M again freight I think is 8 if I'm not mistaken yes is 8 is 8 CP0 is 100 plus 
100 plus cm is 71.4 again if you divide everything by 100 the numerator and denominator you will reach to this equation then overhead overhead is here where is overhead can you help me to find it overhead is here is the CL that you already have C, C, C overhead which is given to you okay mm -hmm. so for overhead is C overhead divided by CL C overhead is how much 63.4 63.4 and the labor is 63 if you do the calculation you should get 1.005 something like that let me just uh, let me just do the calculation here myself 63.4 divided by 63 yes it gives you 1.006 or 05 is this value here what you have here okay and you can continue to do the calculation for the last one engineering and you will get this value so now you have all of them you have uh, all the factors you just put all the factor in this equation and find the bare modulus okay so you have alpha m okay which is that we already calculated so is here alpha m then you have alpha L labor is just written you know like here this is at the beginning but here is written at the end it's just uh, a small change like that alpha L is here freight is how much 0 0.747 is here alpha L again is this Alpha lay alpha overhead is this one, this one here, and finally engineering, which is this one. If you put all together, you will find the bare module equal to this value. Then you need to okay. So you have the price of the heat exchanger at one atom only the heat exchanger, only the equipment, nothing else. At one atmosphere, one bar and carb with made of carbon steel now if i want to know what's the total cost of that equipment after installation everything so i have i already calculated i have the price of equipment which is ten thousand i have the modulus which is three point something that cost us thirty two point nine hundred and ten dollars okay so the equipment the heat exchanger cost ten thousand but once we bring it home in a study they start working with it and check it ch make all the checkup inspection everything it will cost us almost three times more this is the message of this question